Hey, it's Janine from That's Enough.com, and I'm here with the glam father. <laughs> Also the head hairstylist for VH1's Love and Hip Hop New York. How are you? I'm fantastic. I am the most excited I have been in a very, very long time. Why? Because I feel as though at this very moment I'm creating history with showcasing African American beauty in Montclair, which has never been done before. Why Montclair specifically? Okay, specifically because my my friend Shamela, who owns a salon here, Studio 912, um, she has been like the best underground artist to me in terms of like hair. She thinks outside of the box and she's like my little glam fairy. And I feel like I'm a part of a world that she's not a part of in terms of television. And I want to showcase her work. I want to add my makeup to her work. I do hair as well, but I wanted to do what people say is impossible for African Americans to support each other. I want to spotlight her designs, her greatness. African American beauty is not just one thing. It's totally different things. It's this beautiful coif look that you have. It is outrageous. It's colorful. It's textured. It's straight. It's curly. And here in Montclair, I feel like everyone's always in their little glam houses and they never come outside. So for the first time, I'm creating a spectacle and I want to show people that we are here. We can show our hair here and see all this lovely support that we get from all of the people. You can do the same thing too. Now I remember inside you said you were afraid to do this in the beginning. So what made you overcome that fear? What made me overcome that fear um, is challenging myself. Like you have to just do it. I think I've, I created the responsibility by putting the idea to Shamila and saying, wow, let's, let's, let's get pressed. Let me call a friend. Let me, and they call their friend. Let's see who wants to come out and support an event like this. So I cried a few times before, <laughs> before we got to this point today because I was so afraid. Like, what's going to happen? Are people going to come? Is it going to happen on time? But I overcame it the minute I saw you guys here. And I, I'm happy. I'm so happy that I did it. I'm so happy to have the support. I'm happy everyone sees African American beauty in all its shades and all its color. So one of your sponsors is Mix Moscato. Yes. And I know they just came out with the sangria flavors. Yes, I had I know I had the red one like a couple of weeks ago yes. at the station, so they had the white one. Okay. Um so tell us more about this new Mixed fusion flavor. Well, well, I've been. I feel like I, well, I've been around since mixed fusions was started. It's like a daughter company of the Bartonura Moscato, that family. So, Amona set out to have this big business venture and create this stuff. I was testing stuff right at her house, doing her hair. Like, mm, this tastes good. Mm, this tastes great. So, I feel like it's like my little niece or something. I carry with me to all my events, all my little stuff. I love how it goes beyond just uh, the celebrity community. Mix offers uh, regular people a way to have good parties and showcase their good stuff. They support events like this. So that's, I mean, Mix is about togetherness. It's about the fun stuff. It's about the good times. It's about, it's mainly for women. But it tastes good to men too. You know what I'm saying? So get in the mix. Hashtag get in the mix. And for our love and hip hop viewers. Yes. What can they expect when the new season comes back? Okay, we have so many love and hip hops now. Okay, so I know Atlanta's on the way, so they can hold off on that. But Hollywood and New York. Ooh, honey, New York. I there. There's going to be some good folks back that you're going to want to see. You're going to get the same. Oh my God, the the same rumbles in the jungle. The same. Oh my God, what's happening with your relationship? You're going to see some familiar faces, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, and there are actually, um, there's some talks about some other places for Love & Hip Hop. Because, you know, Love & Hip Hop is not about uh, women fighting. It's actually about what happens with women in relationships with hip hop artists. So fighting happens to be a little bit of part of it, it's a little cuckoo, cool, but you get to see how they come out of those emotions there. So you're going to see a lot of growth on Love & Hip Hop, a lot of women doing big business for these next few seasons. And can you tell us any of the new cities or can we take a guess? Well, one place is involving a little heat. A little I'm going to guess Miami. 
Maybe. Um, one other place is involving, you know, a little down home goodness, you know. Um, I'm going to guess Houston. I'm going to guess Houston. D maybe. That might. <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say. But one thing you're going to feel at home with these women, you're going to feel familiar and you're going to be excited. You're going to be gagged. Gags hard. You might need to have some mix with you to soften your fall. I like how you plug that in. <laughs> so you heard it from the glam father himself. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. This stuff does not happen without the support of people like yourself. So I appreciate you being here. And this is actually the beginning of something else that's going to be on the way. A bigger function that I think you'd be quite interested in. If you stick around a little bit longer, I think Tara's on her way too. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Paula. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry I had to get you makeup done.